Hello and welcome to the madness. So I am doing Miss Coffee's uh, Whip and Chat Challenge. Um, this challenge was to tell any disasters you've ever had with your diamond painting or crafting. I don't have any. So I'm using it as the other suggestion she said was to get to know me. So, or get to know, yeah, for you to get to know me. So, let me tell you about myself. Okay, first we need glasses because I can't do this without glasses. First thing, I'm blind, yay. Um, not blind, but I'm old, so I need old people glasses to be able to see the crafts I'm doing. Yay. Um, okay. So first, let me tell you about the painting. This is Cloud Runner from DAC. This is a very special painting to me because this is my first ever DAC. My husband bought it for me for Mother's Day. And yeah, you know how it goes. You get more paintings in and you show it to the side and you show it to the side and you show it to the side. Well, I was going to start this May 1st, and I decided, you know what? No. Let's just start it now. Because on Monday, Monday was a special date for me. It was my one-year anniversary on YouTube. Ding, 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 ding. I have been on YouTube for exactly one year. Now, I was thinking about it over the last couple of days, is what I expected when I started my channel. You know, what were my hopes? What were my dreams? Why did I make my channel? Well, the reason I made my channel, first of all, was because I lost my father at... He was, he was young. I wasn't young. I was 24 or 25, which I mean, it is young, but I wasn't like, you know, um, a child, you know, it still affected me. It still affects me to today, but the one thing I wish I had was videos where I could go back. Okay, I'm trying to get some mud because I'm gonna use my Diamond Art Club pen, which I've never put anything in it. And I thought, okay, this is brand new everything, a brand new floor placer, brand new pen. Let's put in mud and put it to the test. Let's really see if we like it or not. Okay, so anyways, um, let's just get right into this. Okay, hold on, I gotta kind of like, I don't know why I opened it that far. Oh, one jumped out, well, we'll just put you right there. How's that sound? Okay, so, I filled the pin a little too much. Okay, so anyways, um, I started watching um, YouTube. Now before, when I would watch YouTube, I'll tell you exactly what I watched. I would go to Google. I would Google something. A YouTube video would come up. I would watch it. That would be it. Now my kids, they watched YouTube all the time. They follow people and... Every time I ask them, what are you, you know, watching on your phone? Oh, that was good. They would say YouTube. And I'd be like, okay, that, you know, I it didn't understand. Um, I can tell you the first person we followed as like a family. But now, mind you, I still didn't understand the whole subscribing and stuff. Just once in a while, I would go on to see if they put a new video up. Because I didn't know there was a subscribe button. 
even though every every freaking video he said to like and subscribe, I liked, but I didn't know what the subscribe part was. Yeah, I'm a little slow when it comes to that kind of stuff. So, um, and, oh gosh, I'm not going to pronounce his name right. Um, Jonathan, what was his name? Ooh. The first person that we watched on YouTube. No. Farmville. Tabuscus. So he's he's aggravated right now. He's building his computer. We got our stimulus checks today. So he was able to go get his computer that he's been dying to get because he's going to start streaming. I don't know where he's going to stream. I don't know if it's YouTube, Twitch, or whatever, but that's been one of his dreams since basically... Tabuscus. See, it all comes full circle. Um, so anyways, I would go on YouTube. I would, well, I would go to Google. I would find the video. I would go watch. And once, more than likely, I would watch a couple of videos on that. You know, like, basically it was cooking is what I would go there for. Or, I well, see, I don't even remember. Hence, being old and, you know, the memory goes first. Well, eyesight, then memory. So, um, but I would basically go there for recipes. Um, I never Googled how to fix my toilet or nothing like that, but now I know you can do that. Um, so, where was I going with this? Oh yeah, okay, so I found diamond painting and then I started finding diamond painting videos and I just happened to watch um, Allison and she was talking about her life. And I wasn't paying attention, attention. And the next video just started on its own and it was Allison and she was talking more about her life, but she was talking about the craft too. You know, and I was like, whew, maybe this is what my kids are talking about when they, you know, subscribe to people. That they actually get to have, you know, you get to learn about people. So I subscribed to her, and then I figured out, yeah, I was really smart. I figured out how to watch from the very beginning of her videos. So, because I didn't want to miss one, because I loved her, and I wish she would come back. I really do. I miss her. I loved hearing about her kids, and she was just a great YouTuber. So, um, Allison kept saying, you know, start your own channel. We need more YouTubers. She needed more YouTubers to watch, and she would name out YouTubers. And then I go look at those YouTubers that she was talking about. And then I started to become a part of the YouTube community, started following people. I had a really strict rule back then. If I was going to start to follow someone, I had to start from the very beginning of their videos and couldn't watch any of their newer videos until I was caught up all the way. Um, when I started breaking that rule was Miss Coffee. I, I couldn't. I had to watch the latest video and then I go back to all the other ones. But every day I had to watch the new video and then go back. Um, so, um, it was Allison, the reason I started my YouTube channel because, um, she said, come on, we need more stories. We need to be, we need more people in our community, basically. And I hemmed and hawed. And um, at this time, I was um, just getting ready to have my surgery. And I knew the minimum I was going to be down for two weeks, meaning I couldn't work. But it was a possible possibility that I would be down for three or four weeks. Well, I was down for three and a half weeks. Um, I had hernia surgery 
and I didn't just have the normal hernia surgery. Then he went back and he did the hernia surgery and then he did another surgery on top of the hernia surgery. Basically, he pulled all my skin and he he's an excellent surgeon. He actually made me a belly button because I had to take my belly button out. Um, my hernia was basically, it looked like I was uh, five months pregnant and the baby was just coming out of my belly button. It was bad. I had it for um, 20 years, so yeah. So that's why I was down so long because once the first, the stitches that you could see, which would be the second part of the surgery, once those stitches came out, then the inside stitches are what gave me the hardest time and couldn't walk, couldn't nothing. Oh, it was, it was awful. So the first week I like healed and was doing good and then those stitches came out because, you know, they get a lot of soap and water and, you know, they dissolve faster than the ones that are inside of you, which I don't understand that, but that's how it happens. So once the outer section stopped doing its job, the inner section had to do its job and let's just say it was bad. It was the worst thing I've ever went through. I would go through child labor four more times if I didn't have to do a hernia surgery ever again. It was the worst pain of my life. So anyways, um, I was all caught up with Stitcherista. I'm not Stitcherista, with Allison. And then I watched, um, oh gosh, my Diamond Art Addiction. Is that it? I think that's it. Valerie. You know, I'm bad with names. I watched Valerie. Then Valerie told me about um, Gone Off My Mets. And in the process, I learned about Stitcherista. So, or did I learn about Stitcherista first? I had to learn about Stitcherista first. And then I learned about Gone Off My Meds. Because the whole time I was down with my hernia sur surgery, all I did was watch Stitcherista. And by then I knew how to do playlists. So, I had a playlist. And, of course, Tiny Pufferfish was my nurse. And um, I couldn't lay in bed. I had to sleep in my chair. That's how much pain I was in. And when, um, hold on, I didn't get another one. When I would fall asleep, now Becca was in her dad's chair basically the whole time because John had to work for me because I couldn't go to work. So basically... Becca was at my side 24 hours a day and she was so cool because she knew how I was. If I missed a video, if I fell asleep during a video, I would have to try to figure out where I fell asleep and then I would go back and rewatch that. Well, after the first time, two times of me falling asleep, then Becca would, because I guess when I fall asleep, I snore. Okay, I'm a snorer. Who cares? Uh, right when I would start snoring, Becca would write down what episode, what time, and everything. So when I woke up, she could take me right to that place and I could, I didn't miss a second of Stitcherista's videos. So, and I only went back to um, when she started diamond painting. I didn't do her cross stitch, which I still have them in a folder and I still watch them hearing there when I'm caught up. Um, yeah, why can't I do this? So I still have Stitcheristas now that I'm into cross stitching. I started watching her beginning of her cross stitching channel too, which I know it's the same channel, but you know what I'm trying to say? I don't think it's coming out right. But anyways, so 
after I got all healed and I was caught up with Stitcherista, I was pretty much caught up with gone off my meds. I haven't found Miss Coffee yet. And, um, so I decided, and the whole time, you know, while I'm on, what, leave from work, I'm thinking, I'm going back and forth and asking Becca, should I do it? Should I not do it? Should I do it? Should I not do it? And she asked me, she goes, why do you want to do it? I said, well, first I want to be a part of a community. This is cool. They're all part of the community. They all talk about each other because back then you guys did all talk. You know, you suggested people to watch and you commented that you watched that video last night and how funny it was. And it just felt there was this community. There was no drama back then. And... I wanted to be a part of a community because I only have one friend out of work and I only have a couple of like friends at work and every time it seems like I get close to someone at work, they find a new job. Yeah, we're going to keep in touch. We're going to keep in touch and then... It always happens. You don't keep in touch. Now, the last one, we kept in touch for almost a year. But then she started finding new friends at her other work, which, I mean, it happens, you know. So I was like, you know what? Screw this. I need to find some people to talk to. Now, mind you, I was already going through kind of like an empty nester um, at that time, I thought my son and his wife were going to be moving out any day. Um, my daughter was at work. I don't know. I like to play with the drills. Does anyone else do that? Just like rub your hand over it? I don't know. Crazy. Um, so I felt like pretty soon it's just going to be me and John here. Now, John's not a talker. On here, he loves you guys. And when we're doing videos, he's a talker. But on a regular day basis, John isn't a talker. I might talk to him for probably, if you put it all together, 10 minutes a day. It's just little things, you know, like basically we talk about the show that we're watching. You know, um, I used to hate going on date nights with him. It would frustrate me so much because you go on a date night and you're sitting there just eating a meal in silence. And I would try to talk and I would just get one word answers. And I'm sorry, I'm the type that I need to have a back and forth conversation. So it would just frustrate the hell out of me. I wouldn't enjoy my dinner. We'd have fights about it. And he's like, well, just talk to me. I'm like, I try to talk to you, but, you know, whatever. And he's like, I'm sorry, I'm just not a talker. So we just realized there's ways, you know. So he's just not a talker. I'm not going to leave the man because he's not a talker. But we don't go on much date nights anymore. <laughs> well, now he's better, though. I do have to say, he, he has learned how to keep communicate that sounds so strange but he does when we do go out to dinner just me and him we actually do talk now so I could say he's getting a little better but I was worried I was panicky that here I am gonna be stuck in a house alone with him who doesn't talk and what is our life gonna be like you know so that was going through my head. So I, I told her I wanted the community and I told her, I said, and I think it would be really nice when I'm gone that you guys would have, if you're missing me, because, okay, at this time I didn't know what kind of videos I was going to do. I knew I was going to do whipping chats and tell stories about, you know, them growing up, which that really never happens unless we're talking about tags. I thought for sure I would tell more stories on my channel, but 
it's kind of weird to talk about the past when it I had to bring it up, you know? But when we're together and we talk about the past, it feels natural. But to tell you stories of them growing up, it doesn't feel natural. Does that make sense? So that part did not happen. What I thought was going to happen is that I would recap stories about them. So when they were feeling lonely and they wanted to hear stories, because that's the thing, I wanted, I wish I had my dad telling me stories, you know, about him growing up or him remembering us going to Babalo and, you know, stuff like that. Which I'm glad that my channel has taken a different turn than what I imagined my channel would be. Because, okay, wait, let, I'm getting too far ahead of Vance in my thoughts. So... Of course, Becca gets all mushy, and she's like, I would appreciate that. I would like to be able to, you know, go back in. When you're gone, I, it sounds so morbid, but you know what I mean? When you're gone, to go back and to listen to your voice. Because I remember the one time that I heard my dad's voice after he was dead or passed away. Uh, there's no way, an easy way to say that. Um, I was so grateful, and all I wanted to do was keep listening to it over and over again. Because he was actually laughing. I don't remember what he was talking about, but he actually was, like, saying something, and then he laughed. And it was like, oh, my God, that's what I miss. I miss the laugh. I miss hearing his laugh. So, um... All I needed was to hear that Becca would go back and watch my videos when I was gone. <laughs> That's all I needed. I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this. I said, okay, let's come up with a name. Came up with the stupidest name ever. What was it? Um, it wasn't Becky's. It was Madness for Diamond Painting. Right? My Madness for Diamond Painting. Welcome to the Madness. Welcome to the Madness of Diamond Painting. I think that's what it was. I don't remember. It was super freaking long. All I remember is that. And um, what the reason I changed my name is because everyone would say, Hi, Madness. I'd be like, or no, they would say, hi, welcome to the madness. And I'm like, just call me madness or something. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to put my first name in the title of my YouTube channel. So they'll just call me Becky. Because there were so many diamond painters out there too by now. Because I waited too long. If I would have done my channel when I first thought about it, I would have been like one of the first people with you guys, you know, all the old timers. I would have still been um, four months behind you guys, but yeah. So now I am considered a new YouTuber, but if I would have started my channel when I wanted to, I would have been an old time YouTuber. Yeah. Wrap your mind around that one. So, but anyways, um, so I started making my videos and at the beginning, Becca, oh, Tiny puffer fish was like, I'm not going to be in them. John was like, I'm not going to be in them. I'm like, oh, that's fine. I'm not asking you guys to be in it. Um, Once in a while, you're going to be in it because, you know, <laughs> you live in the house and there's no privacy in this house. So, and the first time John was in a video is when I was doing a framing video and I needed two hands and, oh my God, that was a train wreck of video. Oh my God, a hot mess. I think that's what I kept saying. This is going to be a hot mess. This is going to be a hot mess because it was a hot mess. I cut myself in that video and then I wasn't strong enough to do something. So John had to come in and help me. And I was like, oh, this is just ridiculous. And then 
I hate him hard. He him hard. Back and forth. Should I even put it up? Because it was such a hot mess. And Becca's like, no, put it up. And John's like, yeah, put it up. And then people started started commenting about John. And oh my God, that's where it started. John wanted to be in all the videos, it seemed like then. Oh my gosh, when we did the vacation video, the cruise video, oh my God, he he loved doing that. He'd be like, in the morning, he'd be like, when's the next time? What are we, what are we doing today? And what clips are we doing today? And I'm like, you're really into it. this. And he's like, yeah, my peeps are going to want to see me. I'm like, your peeps? Really, John? I mean, for him to be so interactive with people, that's shocking to me. But he loves being in the videos. That's why you see him in um, every live. He loves that. He doesn't like the gaming ones, but last night I actually got him to stay in it, and he did enjoy himself. So, but he loves when you guys pick on me. I don't. He does. So, anyways, so, um, YouTube kind of helped me and John be more playful with each other is that the right word we interact we have something to do I don't know what I'm trying to say but YouTube has actually helped mine and John's marriage now it wasn't like it was in any turmoil we've been together 25 years folks you know it's not like I was leaving him but it gave us something to work on together, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Like, now, he loves being in the cooking ones. Um, what's in the pot? Which I was getting to that, and then I stopped myself before. So, I didn't know what my channel was. I had a vision, which the vision didn't work out that I thought it was going to be. Sure, they still get the memories, and now they get the memories that we're making now so they will be memories so i guess it is going in the same i feel like i'm talking in a circle but it is what i want it to be but so much more the what's in the pot oh my gosh go ahead this is where you're gonna laugh at me do you know how many times i go back and watch my what's in the pots because a lot of these recipes, I'm trying it out brand new. Um, people send me re recipes. Here, try this. Oh, why do I keep doing that today? Yeah, I know I overfilled it. But I feel like I'm like... I'm not shaking like I usually shake. It's not flowing for me today. Um, oh, what was I just saying? Because now I just made a mess on my desk and... Yeah. Um, oh, I go back and I watch my what's in the pots to make what's in the pot because a lot of these are new recipes. And now that my memory is going, I forget, especially the Instapot has changed my life. Oh, my gosh. Um, so I go back and watch my Instapots. Um, I'll tell Becca, OK, you're cooking dinner tonight. And she'll be like, well, what do we want? And we'll like sit there and be like, uh, creamy enchiladas, I think is what the title is. And she's like, okay, I'll just put on the video. She follows the videos to make the dinner. So I, if I stopped doing all crafts, I would still do what's in the pots just for my own catalog of having recipes. And the reason I started What's in the Pot is I was in someone's live and um, we were talking. And now, I hadn't started watching Laura Laws yet. Um, back Backlogs. I got to a point where I was starting to watch so many new people that I wouldn't go back and watch their old ones. I put it in a list and hopefully get to it <laughs> but 
I didn't know that Laura cooked on her channel. And we were in this live one day and I forgot who was talking and stuff. And they're like, I was like, oh, I was thinking about making a video about, um, I was going to make a pot roast or something. I can't remember what my first video was, but I was like, I wonder if any of you guys would be interested in that. And someone said, oh, like Laura, she cooks. And I'm like, oh, well, if, you know, someone else is doing it on their channel, I didn't want to steal the ideal. And I want to say Laura was in there and she's like, no, I would, she had to be in there because I would not have done it. Or they convinced me. I don't remember how it all went this now, but, um. I want to say Laura was in there. Laura, tell me, were you in there and you convinced me to do what's in the pot? There were people who convinced me to do what's in the pot. And I'm like, okay, I'll try it. And I had so much fun doing it. And it was such a good response that I just kept doing it. But that's the one thing. If I was to stop all crafts, I would keep what's in the pot because... I use what's in the pot. At least once a week, I go back and watch one of my what's in the pot just to make sure that I got the... Because especially with the Instapot, everything has a different amount of liquid, broth or whatever you're supposed to put in the pot. So even though I have made spaghetti I don't know how many times now in the instapot I still go back and watch the instapot spaghetti one just to make sure that I have all of the liquid and all the parts the right amount of stuff to make that wonderful instapot spaghetti so now Becca I, she told me last night I think she has a week and a half left of school and after she's done I'm gonna beg her to go back and re-watch all of my videos and actually put in the description box you need eight ounces of this or this or that or that because that's one thing I haven't been doing and even I'm like you know what I really need to use that description box more than what I have been so like with the cross stitching, I do have all the, like my favorite um, shops on Etsy, the patterns, if I got them off of Etsy or the Facebook group, um, the Harry Potter one, the stitch along. I do have all that stuff linked. I am starting to use that more for the cross stitch. But for like the diamond painting, I used to have like... Um, my favorite place to get the diamond painting pen. Um, but I wouldn't use the description box like I really should. So I'm going to, that's my one goal this year. Year two of being on YouTube, you know, it'll be, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Because I just finished year one. So in year two, my goals are to, um, Use that description box more. <laughs> if not just for the what's in the pots. Because I've already got the cross stitch using it more. But anyways. So. um, Yeah. Now. I just hit 500. I think it was less. A couple months ago. I keep going from, yeah, it was a couple of months ago because I'm like at a standstill right now. I have anywhere from 115 to 120. Each week I go up, down, up, down, up, down, fluctuating, which that happens. That's YouTube, you know. You have dead subs on your channel that don't watch your channel anymore, so they get rid of them. But then your new people find you, so it, that's how it goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. 
But my whole reason of talking about subscribers is when I started this, I would never have thought that me, little old Becky, would have 500 subscribers. Who would want to listen to my blabbering mouth more than my kids? And my kids don't even watch it. Becca watches it. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it like, it shocks me. And I just want to say thank you for including me in the community. I know I'm not everyone's cup of tea, but apparently I'm a lot of people's cup of tea. So I appreciate the people who, oh, I forgot. I got a couple of the, um, what's the other one I was working on? The Pokemon. I forgot to take some of those down. Okay, so we need a double dot, nine, oh, I thought I was going to get into a pretty color. 939. At least it's DAC. So DACs actually look like the bluish black. It's not like AliExpress where it just looks like a lighter black. You can actually see like the hint of blue. So I really don't mind the DAC 939 but yeah what I want to be working on a pretty color like this what is the 823 8 oh pfft. well that's deceiving I thought oh I was gonna get another pretty color no which I guess I'm in the water so why am I complaining but look at the pretty colors when do I get the pretty colors <laughs> you know whatever okay so we're doing these ones oh and see now I just forgot what I was talking about I think it was subscribers I'm just grateful or not subscribers being a part of the community I appreciate that I can come on here and why am I sounding nasally did you hear how nasally I just sounded Oh, um, sorry. God. See? <laughs> Either I am your cup of tea or I'm not your cup of tea because I'm all over the place. You know when you come to watch one of my videos, more than likely, it's going to be a freaking hot mess. <sighs> and she's going to forget what she's saying. And then, yeah, she'll just be lost. And probably a lot of you scream at the TV, you were talking about this. Well, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Um, so, yeah, I just went on a little thing. Loving this mud, though. By now, with the pink wax, I would have had to refill. I'm not a fan of patty wax. But I'm not going to rule it out i am going to try the ss i'm told that i really should try the ss the ss would probably work better for me but yeah anyways um what was i talking about oh yeah the community it's so much fun to talk to people um it's fun to hear your name, too, in someone else's video. Like, I don't know. It's like, oh, my God, they watched. And then they're making, okay, I don't want to say they're making fun of you, but I'm very easy to make fun of. So they're laughing at something that I did, and it's like, <laughs> yeah, that was kind of funny. And then it's like, but you watched, you know? I don't know. I don't know. I've just made some really strong friendships on here and I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting to be, I was hoping, not expecting, because I didn't have much expectations, but I was hoping to be a part of the community. I didn't know that I was going to find people that... What is the, the 
the um, phrase ride or die, there are a handful of YouTubers that I would ride or die for. Um, they mean so much to me and uh, has helped me. And they don't probably even realize how much they have helped me. But I went through some things this year, you know? And without those people in my life, I don't know how I would have gotten through it. Oops, I think that's... I'm really thinking about doing that where you... Um... Do the washi tape because I got tons of washi tape that I'm never going to use. So I'm really thinking about washi taping this and doing that. I'm still like up in the air, but I'm really thinking about after I turn off the camera, trying it on this painting. So I guess I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, just know that I appreciate you if we don't talk on a daily basis you just might be one of those people that I am talking about you know what I'm saying um I don't know that didn't make sense um I love reading the comments I know I'm really bad at getting back to people's comments I even put the thing on my phone that would tell me and when people comment and it seems like it works half of the time and doesn't work half of the time but I've been trying to um get in a schedule where like first thing in the morning I go on and read them but it's been more right before I go to bed I go on and see if there's any comments the only thing is with that it shows you your subscribers and I don't want to keep a big thing on the I, I don't want to be one of those people who's constantly watching their subscribers so yeah I'm like I keep going back and forth should I do it should I do it shouldn't I do it yeah yeah how about we use our words right today Becky no that's not gonna happen but I love your comments I love the little interactions even if it's hey it was a great video it shows me that you watched and you liked and that I should still keep doing this and that's the little interactions so what I'm talking about that you probably don't know that you're one of those people that I'm talking about but yeah whoo I just looked up in the fog <gasps> Oh no, it's snowing. I thought it was fog. It is snowing like crazy outside. Oh my gosh. Okay, anyways. Um, just thank you for being, welcoming me into the community and letting this trashy mouth, loud ass person be a part of your community. Because I'm having a blast. I really am. And without you guys, I don't know where I would be. Mentally wise, you know. I know I'd still be living here with my husband and having my job and stuff. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about friends. Having friends. Oh, God, she's singing. Now it's really time to cut this video. Sorry this was a hot mess, but like I said, when you come here, this is what you usually get. Um, I hope you learned some things about me. Um, thank you for celebrating my one-year anniversary on YouTube. Big milestone for me. I did not know when I started this if I was just going to do a couple and stop. You know what I mean? Um, I have to say I feel like I'm a better YouTuber than at the beginning. Um... I don't have nerves anymore coming out making a video. I basically just sit here and chat with you guys like you're in the room. And that's how it feels for me too, is that you guys are just on the other side of my desk and I'm just chit-chatting with you guys. 
Sometimes you guys do talk back too, but that might be just the little people in my head talking back to me, but you know. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the madness, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.